A large part of our practice that we focus on at Cruise Law Firm is we represent a lot of clients charged with drinking and driving offenses. And one of those subsets of those charges is, is refusing or failing to comply with a breath demand under the criminal code. Now, this really breaks down to two different types of refusing devices. One is where you're at the roadside and there's this called a screening test, for example, at a, at a ride program. So that's called an approved screening device. And there's failing or refusing to comply with that. There's also failing to, or refusing to comply with a breath demand regarding the intoxilizer at the police station. That's the real test, screening test, which gets you down to the police station, then real test. Now, the consequences are pretty severe for this type of offense. They're basically the same, and I went through this uh, in, in detail in another video. It's basically the same as impaired driving and over 80 cases. In fact, the fine for refusal is the same as the aggravated fine for blowing over 160 or over. So it's $2,000 plus your 30% uh, victim fine surcharge and at least a one-year minimum license suspension. It could be up to three years. The ministry is going to also take it for one year at the same time concurrently. And then you may, may or may not qualify for Stream A ignition interlock, which I review in other videos. And of course, the insurance and all the other attendant costs and, and the victim fine surcharge, et cetera. So pretty severe consequences. So are there defenses to these charges? And I'll keep it very simple in terms of the defenses. Number one, there has to be a valid breath demand. Now that sounds pretty easy. They just read from a card and make a valid demand. It's amazing how often the police make a mistake, though. And I'll give you one example. Uh, they, they read the breath demand, which is a, a demand, and then they ask the person, you know, do you want to provide a breath sample? Or they ask. They don't demand. They don't say blow, blow, blow. A person's entitled to refuse if it's merely a wish or a want. No, I don't want to provide a breath sample. Will you provide a breath sample? No, you're asking me to, and I, I don't want to. If the, but they have to make that demand. There's case law on that, and we've won many cases about that. that there's a difference between a demand and merely a, a wish or, or a, you know, will you. It really has to be very clear to the client that they're being demands. So an unequivocal, clear demand has to be made. And that includes, of course, reading from their cards making the demand. Rice to counsel is a very fertile area here too. If your rice to counsel are breached, it's potentially, and they do it, there's thousands of cases in rice to counsel. It sounds easy for the police, it's not. We study these cases every day. They come off the computer across Ontario every day and charter applications are done and, and lawyers all across the province, including us, win a lot of rice to counsel cases where the judge never even gets to hear. It gets thrown out at court, the, the refusal. The other defense is where there's a reasonable excuse. And I'll give you examples of reasonable excuse. A medical condition could be a reasonable excuse. You've got broken ribs. You've got compromised lung function. You've got asthma, that sort of thing. So there are defenses. A good lawyer can find those defenses, give you the advice you need. It, it doesn't make sense just to go in and plead guilty without a lawyer. It, it really pays to have someone look at it to, to try and either get you the best result they can or hopefully win your case. And sometimes we even get careless driving officers if there's, if there's a good defense on a charter application, for example. So there's kind of a, a short synopsis of uh, dealing with refusal charges and the consequences. Thank you for watching our video. We are absolutely committed to bringing you the best possible criminal and DUI educational videos. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you've been charged with a criminal offense in Ontario and require our services, please click on the link in the description below.